and Tom Pippen Sports. Because your news team matters. Well, sure, you mainly think of them as pets, but dogs are also helping to clean up the rivers around Milwaukee. Our AJ Byatpour found a local environmental group who thinks the canines could also save cities a lot of money. <laughs> Although people are removing the manhole covers, these dogs are doing the heavy lifting. Sable and Logan came to Wauwatosa on business. They're here with a Michigan-based environmental company and came to help Milwaukee Riverkeeper. Our goal is at one point to get fishable, swimmable, drinkable rivers, and the only way we're going to do that is by you know finding sources of pollution and fixing them. Cheryl Nen is focusing on the Milwaukee, Kinnikinnick, and Menominee rivers. The problem is human waste leaking into the rivers through sewage lines that are supposed to carry storm water and nothing else. It's really bad for the water quality and it's also, you know, really a public health risk. Cameras, dyes and smoke have been used for testing, but these adopted dogs are cheaper and when trained right, just as accurate. We find that the dogs are very efficient because it's an immediate result, whereas lab results, you have to take that sample, send it off to a laboratory, have it processed and then wait for the results. When it comes to finding leaks, <laughs> yes, good job. Accuracy can save money for cities and provide convenience for residents when it's time to make repairs. So instead of trying to do maybe six or eight blocks, you might be able to get down to one or two. While these two pooches will go back to Michigan, the river keepers here would like to get their own dogs. We certainly would have enough work to keep dogs busy for a very long, long period of time. <laughs> In Wauwatosa, AJ Bipor, Fox 6 News. Now, once the dogs find a hot spot, there still needs to be some traditional testing. However, the dogs allow for smaller areas to be tested, which saves money.